What's going on? Adam Michaels, Magic 105.3. About to get a call from Joey McIntyre from New Kids on the Block. The two are coming to AT&T Center June 28. Tickets on sale now. Win tickets all week on Magic 105.3. Hey, Adam. Hey, Joe. How's it going? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great. Hey, thanks for taking a minute to call the radio station. Well, thanks for having me. I got to tell you, before uh, besides just the fans, the listeners, and giving away tickets, they're going nuts. But the ladies here at the radio station, like they can't even control themselves. I got to tell you, there's stories of of old buttons, t-shirts, uh, shoelaces. It's it's insane up here. Yeah, we had a few things with our faces on them, you know. <laughs> how's a few it? Items there. How's it feel getting back together with the group then? Uh, it's been great. You know, we got the best together after 15 years back in 2008, and for the last couple of years, we've just been, you know, just having a blast and performing and doing a bunch of tours, and, you know, our fans are just awesome. They're killer, and, and uh, we just want to keep it going, but keep it going in a fun, you know, fresh way, and obviously, teaming up with the Backstreet Boys is, is definitely something new, so it's going to be fun. Yeah, what's it like working with those guys? Because, I mean, when they were young and you guys were on in the 80s, they were, like, looking up to you. So what's it like working with them now? Well, it's great, man. I mean, really, it's, it's you know, it's a love fest. I, 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 I wish I could give you some drama, but there's really not much there. I mean, we just, you know, we're just nine, right now we're nine, you know, guys that have, have done it for a while, and we know that this is a great opportunity, and we just want to, have fun, make the most of it, and, and they're fun, and funny guys, they're good guys, you know, we have a lot of laughs, and I think, you know, I think each group is, <laughs> you know, sort of on their best behavior, you know what I mean, so it's like, you know, each each group wants to act, act respectively, so, but we're having a blast at the same time, I mean, it's just goofy, it's a great way to make a living. Very cool. What's this show going to be like? Well, I think... I think, you know, a lot of people ask who's going to open for who and that idea, but the the, the thing is, is that, um, you know, hopefully we can start the show together, you know, end the show together, make it one big show and, that, and not just two acts doing their thing. I think that's kind of cool. You don't see a lot of bands coming together and really, you know, making one big, you know, show. So, um, you know, we're just throwing out ideas, seeing, seeing what's going to work and, you know, looking forward to it. People have been responding to uh, the fact you guys are calling in today uh, on Facebook. They want to know all sorts of crazy things. First of all, what's your favorite song that's not of your from your group? My favorite song that's not from my group. Yeah. Um. Uh, wow, that's tough. But uh. Or what type of music do you listen to besides uh, New I Kids and Backstreet? Kind of, I listen. I listen to all kinds of things. I mean, you know, from. You know, my, 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 my sons are getting into Elvis Presley now, so, you know, you better love Elvis. Um, How old are your kids? I like, uh, my, my son is, my oldest son is three, and and my my youngest son is one, so he, his taste, you know, is obviously going to be his brother's for a while, but he loves it, you know, he turned it on, he starts dancing, and... Um, it's a lot of fun. So I, I, I love a little bit of everything. You know, I've always loved the standards and Frank Sinatra and all that stuff. But uh, a great song, Time After Time by Cindy Lauper. How's that? All right. There you go. That's cool. Um, yeah. Tell me about your favorite or your your craziest fan moment. Oh. I know there's probably Whatever. thousands. Yeah. Well, we, we kid about it because we get asked that a lot. So we have these stock stock answers that we, we do about that by now everybody knows everybody's crazy story and we, we, we you know say it verbatim I mean you know this we have you know especially when you're you know the whole teen art thing and whatnot I mean it's uh you know bands are trying to sneak into places and jump on you know vans and jump on the top of buses and the whole thing it was just it was madness do you miss that? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. Well, we might ready to wrap things up. Is uh, tell tell San Antonio uh, your your final thoughts, man. What what's your what's your thinking about right now? Tell final thoughts. Well, I mean, we love going down there. We love performing in San Antonio. It's a great great town, and 
it's going to be fun. You know, I mean, these two groups have a lot of history, and, and you know, we just want to entertain. It's going to be a great night. It's June 28th, the AT&T Center. Tickets on, uh, on sale now. And, of course, we're giving out tons and tons of tickets here as well at Magic 105.3. All right, man. Thank you so much. I appreciate your time. Thank you. All right. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.